Hey, what's up everyone? We're back in Subnautica. And I've done a little bit of scavenging, a little bit of uh, crafting, just to kind of get us to where we're at right now. Let's go ahead and drink our water. And yeah, we should be good. So as you can see, we have the radiation suit. Um, might need that today, probably not, but just in case I got the helmet to throw on. But I have gathered some blueprints. Nothing off there. Uh, we have the laser cutter. We started to find that. We got, I think, one more piece to find. We crafted the pathfinder tool. Um, we have... I think that's, that's it out of that. But here, you know, you've seen we had the sea glide. I've already crafted the mobile vehicle bay. We've discovered the rest of the blueprints for the beacon. We'll need that when we're building a base today. And I don't know if we had the grav trap finished or not. But there's a couple, and there's another one. I have to put our vehicle crafter over here. We'll climb up on here. And I should already have the materials for a sea moth. So we're going to let these guys craft it. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. And now we have a sea moth. This thing lets us go a lot farther, a lot quicker. Welcome aboard, Captain. But it also becomes a target. We're going to leave the lights off for now. I did find, I uh, didn't even realize this, right back here was a wreck. Or parts of the ship. Part of the crew, part of the ship. So I've already been in there. I already scanned everything nearby. So, that's good. We've got a nice geyser right here. Look at that. A nice cave down there too. Let's go take a quick look. Oh, nothing. That was a nice that's a nice geyser though. Seventy four degrees. Alright, so what were the uh, as you probably guessed by the title we're gonna start building our base today and I have what I found to be almost the perfect setup let me we got the lights off let me jump out of here and um, we did find as far as blueprints down here to the bottom uh, these are just miscellaneous so for the actual base nothing special we did finish the bioreactor and the scanner room so that's going to be nice we still got to find the multi-purpose room but we'll get there uh, of course these are part of the scanner room it's our CMOS so we need to find this and we need to basically finish up a couple of these rest recipes. And we do have a message, so let's see what this says. This is Officer Keenan, Lightpod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. The last thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission origin coordinates downloaded. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Alright, so we have uh, his broadcast location, which is 300 meters deep. Our Seamoth can't go that deep yet. And then we still have this one to go to. Let's head over there, see if we can't find. 
uh, the rest of the blueprints we need. We're going to go ahead and jump in this guy. And that's that one. That's that one. So I will meet you guys over there. Alright, here we are. What the hell is that? You trying to bite me? I will run your ass over. Let's get out and let's, uh... There's our PDA right there in the center. We got this part here to scan. And then they're right here by this cave system. So we might take a quick dive down in there. Just to kind of get an idea of what's down there. So let's scan this first. Another sea moth fragment. And we already had that. Let's see what this says. New PDA data. Day of the crash. Yeah, nothing special. I think it's just to kind of give us... Lead us to the cave system. Not seeing any other big parts lying around. Except for that big crash right there. Or wreckage. So, let's see if there's anything up here. Doesn't look like it. I don't see anything down there. I'm not seeing much of anything. Couple quartz out there. There and there. Let's head over to that wreckage real quick. I mean, we have that location marked as a beacon right here, so. Mm. We can come back to it. Oops. Wreckage everywhere. Not seeing anything to scan yet. There's a part, I think. We're going to leave the lights on and go take a look. We can take part our flashlight, too. Nothing in there, nothing in there. This is what I've seen. Nope, just salvage. Salt. Not over here. Nothing in there, what are you? Ah, sea moth. Don't see anything up, oh, yep. More sea moths. We already have the sea moth. We need the laser cutter. I think we really need the laser cutter. That's like the next thing we need. And I'd like to get it before we start building a base. More salvage. Because, like this, I don't know, we might be able to find a way in. I can't remember if this one has a way in without having to cut a door open. I'm not seeing anything yet. We'll go check up there. Yeah, nothing down there. Maybe it is up here. Way up here. No. That door's... no, that door's off. Usually you'll see ductwork or... a door that you can cut into. I'm hoping to find some ductwork. Swap out our oxygen tank. Oh, I don't know if uh, it was already done when the end of the last video, I did upgrade that second tank to a high capacity. Already checked there. What about up here? Nothing. Man, where's the entrance? 
you got stuck. I have to go up for oxygen very, very soon. oxygen. My battery's almost dead on this, on my sea glide, so we'll have to change that out too, here pretty soon. Alright, so that one's full. Let's fill that one up. That really has me baffled. Wait, what about up here? No. Gotta be a way in. Oh, right there. There it is. Awesome. Watch out for that stuff. It's in here. Water. So we got that we need to repair. Not seeing... Oh, is there something up here? Nope. Alright, so let's repair the door. And repair tool, not five. Our flashlight back at four. Open the door. There's something to scan. Battery charger, nice. Is that what that is there? Yep. We needed that one. Modification station. Let's see. Aha, laser cutter. Awesome sauce. Swap that out. We scan that. Ooh, data download. What? It's gibberish. Command chair. Cron suit fragment. Cool. Another battery charger fragment. I think we got that one already. Well, that keeps going. Is there anything down there? Yeah. We'll have to come back. So we got 60 seconds. Find our way out of here. I think we were right over here. Nope, not that way. Not there. Nope, we haven't been in here yet. Come on, 30 seconds. Where'd that door go? 30 seconds. Over here. Going up. 20 seconds. That's cutting it close. See how we got a little disoriented there? That one's full. That one's full. So we're going to use this to get back down there quickly. Right through here. Come on, there you go. Oh, 
Alright, so technically that's the way. Now let's get rid of that. Come on. There's another prawn suit fragment. Take that. Wait, it said I could scan something else. Ah, battery charger fragment. Wait, what is that? Oh, a bench. Anything else? Alright, so we gotta remember that's the way out. Data. Okay, I think we already got that one. Another laser cutter fragment. Where'd it go? Right there. Oh, there it is. I think we have it, though. So, that's our exit up there. And there was another door. Let's go do that door first. Alright, swap out. I don't need that. That we need. Need that we need. I think that'll be enough for that one. Nope, we need one more of those. We have that, so we're not going to do it again. That's the one we need. So all we're doing is filling up our inventory. Alright, let's get out of here. So through this door. Over here. Through the hole. And up. Just like that. That away, fill that one up. Down we go again. So I get the wrong. Uh, This door, let's clean out this room. Do we have the battery charger? I'm certain. We'll check anyway. Yeah. Alright, we got the laser cutter, laser cutter. What are you? Propulsion cannon. Awesome. There's another one in here. Oh, we have the modification station. Don't need that. Nothing back here. What is that? Picture frame. There's the other propulsion cannon. I like to think of that as more like a, a grav cannon. How much do we have? 50 seconds plus a tank? Uh, let's go refill. Come on. Your fill. We're going down that tunnel area. Or down the, the ductwork. The air conditioning vents. Save a little bit of that battery. I think it was down here. Yeah. 
this way, down this way, can't go, and in here. Ooh, floodlights. We have the battery charger. There's a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. We have the laser cutter. Anything in here? I think we got all of those. Yep. Not seeing anything up there. Yeah, I can't repair that door. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Thought that was like the power cell charger. Alright, that looks like it. So we'll start heading back. Swap out our tank. Now we've got this one here. I thought I seen a second one. Maybe in this room? No. Must have just been that one. I just looked at it from a different angle or something. I'm not seeing anything else. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, nothing in the lockers. Alright, we're good to go. Hope the battery died on that. So, let's put a new battery in. Oop. Those that didn't know, press R. We need food. Seek fluid intake. We got lots of fluid. Vital signs stabilizing. We need some calories. Alright, let's kill a fish. Actually, where's my... My sea moth. I'm gonna head back to the base, get some fish, food, food in the shape of fish, and I will meet you guys at our base location. See you soon. All right, so here's our location. It's kind of like right here. There's a nice little flat spot. So we're gonna we're gonna set up shop here. The reason I like this one is if you couldn't tell, this is a classified sparse reef, and we do have a couple. At least last time I checked, there's a couple thermals vents down here, but we have it's it's a it's where three three biomes meet. So over here you have the kelp forest, which is going to be great for your sandstone rocks. You have the red grass plains or whatever they're called. So we're going to get some, a good amount of quartz from there. And then the reef, when we go down, we're going to start seeing some shale rocks. Which will give it, help give us diamonds, gold. And then once we start going a little bit deeper, like down there, where the second officer is, um, we'll have rubies and um, gel sacks and all the other good stuff. But 
Yeah, so that's where we're going to build. Let's get up there and start building. And it's also uh, about 300 meters from safe shallows. So if we ever need to go back, we can. Uh, especially for water uh, until we get our filtration system set up. But let's get out and start building. I, we don't have the. Let's see, we don't need that one right now. I don't have that there for blueprints. I, I we don't have the multi room yet. Multi purpose room. So we're just going to do uh, just a simple. An eye compartment for now. And I want to put it... Yeah, I want it facing out that way. Let's get it up just a little bit right there. And for now, we'll, we'll remove it when we get the multi-purpose room. We're going to do that. And we're going to need a hatch right there. Power only. So we have no power. Offline. So we're going to need. This region is unusually low. Cause I need some quartz. Let me grab that real quick. There's one. And if you swim up and just kind of look down, you'll see. There's one. You'll see the blue amongst the red. There we go. Oh, we have we need power there. So let's build one of these there. Now we can jump in and boom. We have the makings of a base. So this is why I put the, the four the cross in here, the cross section. Um, we can we can put some more stuff in here until we need to. So can't build either of those yet. So we're going to need a battery charger. I'm going to put you right there. Wrong button again. Um, yeah, we'll put the modification station down. Yeah, miscellaneous. These are all just decorations. But we're gonna need some lockers. I'm gonna put one there, one there, one there. One there. We're going to need a fabricator. We're going to put it right above the modification. And craft up some of these. Alright, so gold and a coral sample. We got a lot of stuff to craft, so we need to at least bring back gold and table coral. But we can throw those in there now. We'll throw the batteries in there too, they're dead. Alright, let me go grab um let me go grab all of us, at least most of our resources and uh, I'll meet you guys back here once we have everything kind of built. Alright, we're back. We got everything constructed. I finished that, that, that. I got the battery charger running. I did have to add two more solar panels. I didn't have to. Um, I knew I was going to need them. So I said, why not just build them? So I threw those on. I got, I had two batteries charging, 
But then once I had this built, I said, ah, let me go ahead and upgrade my knife. It just cost one of the batteries. It was already at nearly 0%, so I said, why not use that one instead of wasting a full battery? Um, I did go down to that last location, that uh, King's last location. Yeah. I'm just not wanting to show right now. Let me turn it off, turn it back on. Oh, there it is. So I did go down there, gathered, a, I needed a diamond for, what did I need it for? I think it was to actually construct this. Now while I was down there, I found blueprints for the power cell charger. So we're going to throw that right next to there. I'm not going to cr actually craft it yet. Because we don't really have a need for it quite yet. Um, the, only, the only power cell we use is on our SEMA. And pretty soon we're going to have the moon pool. So we'll be able to construct the solar panels for the Seamoth, so it'll charge itself. With that, I did catch a couple of Reginalds. They are practically the best food in the game. When you cook them, they're at plus 44 for food, but only a plus 4 for water, but that's okay because we'll have real water if I want to drink that. So, that'll be good. I didn't catch or I didn't find anything else of value. Um, I grabbed a few rubies, one gel sack because I just know we're going to need them. Uh, and I don't know if we can actually craft with them yet. Yeah, we can craft the arrow gel when we need it. But we haven't learned anything else yet other than how to cook Reginalds. No, oh, we did find the blueprint for ultra high capacity oxygen tank in the modification table. We need to craft a propulsion cannon. Uh, we're going to need that because next episode we're going to go explore the Aurora. And we're going to get that cleaned out. So we're going to need that propulsion gun for the spiders and moving some obstacles out of the way. Um, but yeah, we have that. So we will probably, I'll probably do that um, before we start the next one. What we need, just to kind of show you, I'll get the first one done now. Four lithium and the high O2 tank. Now we have the ultra high. And if we equip that, I think it's 235, 225 compared to 135. Whoops. So we can basically go twice as long. But we will, I will craft a couple more batteries too, so. I'll do that before um, I start recording again, but as always, thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed this episode.